What's good, y'all? Friendly Legends here with another top 10 video. It is the end of 2023. We're going into 2024, and this was an amazing year in sneakers. Uh, so many dope sneakers. A lot of sneakers that I really liked and appreciate that I didn't even go after, didn't grab, because honestly, most of my time was spent this year in crypto and NFTs, as most of you, as most of you guys know. The interesting thing about that is a lot of sneakers released this year via NFT release. So you're going to see a lot of this list where it was exclusive sneakers where you had to have a certain NFT to be part of a membership to get access to it or had to have that digital version of the shoe in order to get the physical. So let's just get into the list and let's get into it. All right, starting off at number 10, we have the Jordan 11. And it's not the colorway that most of you guys uh, have seen on lists and stuff like this. They did just re-release uh, basically a remake of the DMP 11. I think it was called the Gratitude 11s. Those are cool and all, but to me, uh, this was the 11 that I went with. Just the fact that we, we got that pink bottom on it, it's something uniquely different from any of the other 11s we've seen. I just really like this one specifically, and uh, for me, it was an easy pick to pick this one over the other one. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't gonna agree, but again, this is you know my top 10, and so uh, yeah, just something a little bit different, something more unique than the 11s we see uh, pretty much every year. All right, at number nine, another Jordan on the list, and probably one that a lot of you guys would think is blasphemy for having on any top list. Uh, I've always been a fan, of, uh, a fan of the hybrid shoes and the Jordan MVP, and my opinion is one of the best hybrids we've seen. Um, so it mixes the sixes, the eights, and the sevens all together, um, all of which are shoes that I, I really like. I love the huge Nike Air on the back. This came out in a bunch of colors. Uh, the first time I picked it up, I picked up three colors. I haven't picked up any more, but Definitely wanting, I mean, even the little 23 on the inside, that Jordan 6 midsole, I'm wearing a different colorway right now, but yeah, uh, this shoe to me is just one of the dopest uh, Jordans that released this year, and yeah, probably not going to see it on anyone else's list, but the Jordan MVP, number nine on my list. Number eight on the list is the Run the Jewels Dunk High. These things are crazy, uh, from the upper with the crazy pink pony hair to that crazy like pixelated swoosh. And then even the lace tags having that pixelated swoosh on them. Uh, definitely a crazy, crazy sneaker. Um, it gives me definitely like MF Doom vibes. Obviously, it's like not the same exact thing, but uh, just something about it. Really, really dope. And yeah, one of the, one of the better Nike SB drops this year. Number seven on the list, the Jordan 1s Into the Spider-Verse. These are just a crazy colorway, a nice remix on the Chicago 1s. And one interesting thing about this pair I actually wore them to a theoretical uh, physicist uh, panel, Michio Kaku, and considering uh, this movie was all about multiverse and you know a lot of stuff that has to do with like string theory and, and, and all this stuff, I wore these to his panel, asked him to sign it. He was a little bit confused at first, but once I explained the concept behind the shoe, he definitely thought it was cool. And so, yeah, definitely shout out to Michio Kaku. Been watching those videos from him, his interviews for well over a decade at this point. So, dope movie and. <laughs> Really cool, um, you know, signature that I got to add on to the shoe. With the last shoe, we we're talking about multiverse. Now we're talking more about the metaverse. These are the Crypto Kicks IRLs. This is Artifact's first uh, model that they've designed. You know, they've they've done the Air Force One and and, and other shoes like that. The Dunks are coming uh, next year, but this was a shoe completely designed from the ground up from the Artifact team. For those of you that are not familiar with Artifact, uh, they started as an NFT company, a crypto company. And they got acquired back in 2021 by Nike. And since then, they've released, you know, PFPs and digital sneakers and stuff. So uh, this was, you know, one, one of the earliest shoes from them, uh, from their own signature line. And so really dope to see what they're doing and can't wait to see what they have next year with their Project Animus. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, it looks very much like Pokemon vibes. So you can imagine a world where there's an app and you're walking in these shoes to earn points to level up your Pokemon in a Pokemon Go type thing. Not saying that that's what's going to happen, but you know anything's possible with a lot of these digital and physical shoes. The idea of taking these shoes into maybe your Fortnite account or NBA 2K or whatever it may be. I just think that there's limitless possibilities with Artifact and Nike. So uh, these shoes in this crazy colorway with this rainbow midsole that light up, lights up and everything like this. These things are insane and one of the shoes I wore the most this year.
All right, next up on this list, a huge, huge uh, sneaker that I definitely think is worth talking about. This is the Board 8 Times Bait um, collaboration of the Bapesta. This thing is insane. Um, first off, this is the first time we've seen the Bapesta 2. This model has not been used before this collaboration, so there are some slight variations to it. I love the fact that it has Bape on one side, VA White C on the other. It's got both branding on the back, the BAPE and the Board 8 logos. If you've been into NFTs or even if you've just vaguely heard about NFTs, you've definitely heard about Board 8. It is the biggest NFT collection. And so it's just insane to see these two brands that uh, you know I'm so passionate about. I literally have uh, where the BAPE tattoo on my wrist and the hundreds and Board 8 tattoo on my neck. And yeah, this is crazy. Huge shout outs to uh, the fam over at BAYC. Uh, they reached out to me and uh, blessed me with a pair a little bit early so I can go ahead and review it um, and, and everything like that. But yeah, this was just an insane collaboration. They did more than the shoes. They did a pillow, a rug, hoodies, hats. They did a whole collection and it was insane. And the first place they were available was in Hong Kong, exclusively to Board 8 members. Uh, I had access to them. I still lined up. I was one of the first people in line in Hong Kong um, to, to get my release and I actually had one of the original um, main devs, uh, uh, Gordon Goner, uh, signed this shoe. I'm still gonna need Gargo to sign the other one, or one of the other devs. And yeah, this this thing's insane. Definitely a huge milestone for all of crypto and NFTs. You know, this is not the only crypto and NFT collaboration that's happened over the past year or so. You know, Tiffany Diamond did the um, collaboration with uh, CryptoPunks, and Gucci did the collaboration with the other side. We're gonna see a lot more of this. I know a lot of people want to overlook or. Um, you know, not give NFTs or crypto companies credit, but a lot of these companies have done hundreds of millions or billions of dollars in sales in a year or two years or whatever it is. Uh, this is a sector that's gonna just keep on growing and it's dope to see two of my passions come together in one amazing sneaker. This is the Bape and Board Ape, Bape's the two. All right, number four, another NFT based shoe. This is an artifact, Air Force One. This one is the Clone X colorway. So in order to grab these, you had to own a Clone X uh, PFP, and uh, the details on the shoe are insane. The um, lace lock has this huge uh, clone vial, which basically was the mint pass for these clones. Um, you basically had to redeem it or burn it in order to open it and to see what clone you got. You can think of it almost like a booster pack of cards. You have to rip open the pack in order to get the cards inside, and that's the concept behind that. The swoosh on it is the craziest swoosh I've ever seen. It's like a red reflective mirror. The upper, uh, I think they said it was like a lentic lenticular upper. These things are crazy. The first time we saw these on feet was months and months ago, and it was LeBron wearing these. Uh, there was a shot of him coming out of, I don't know, some store or a hotel or something. And yeah, these things are crazy. You probably saw Khaled wearing them and stuff like that. Uh, another one of the shoes that I just kept putting on feet, these things are just so crazy. I've never seen another Air Force One like it, and that's why I think these are um, you know, crazy enough where I have to add them onto the list. The Clone X Artifact uh, Air Force Ones. All right, number three on my list is the uh, Cactus Plant Flea Twos. These things are insane. Uh, they got the straps going across them, the huge midsole slash outsole that looks like a tire, and that even bigger swoosh that is like a button that goes onto the straps. It's got the multicolor uh, straps on the back, red and yellow on one side, black and green on the other. These things are insane. Um, definitely one of the craziest shoes. And I love how it's such a unique model. There's really nothing like it. And again, love that huge swoosh on them. Definitely a statement piece. It's got that footprint on the bottom. These things are insane and they would be higher on the list. It's just there's a couple other shoes that pass it out or beat it out. But yeah, the Cactus Plant Twos, these things are insane. All right, most of this year, I thought this was gonna be my number one shoe, but it ended up being number two. These are the White Cement 3 Reimagines. Uh, love this shoe. It has that pre-yellowed effect on the midsole and on the back, the Nike Air. Um, you know, over the years, there's been a bunch of different Jordan uh, 3 White Cements, and a lot of them honestly haven't really like, they didn't like feel right to me. Um, I think like 2011 and some other times, but these right here, this is like the perfect remake of the Jordan 3 White Cement in my opinion. Uh, love love all the details on it. Classic shoe. I've worn this shoe, I don't even know, countless times this year. Definitely my most worn shoe. It's got the Nike Air on the uh, insole. 
And yeah, just a, a timeless classic right here. White Cement 3 Reimagined, number two on my list. And it would have been number one if it wasn't for this next shoe. All right, number one on my list, another NFT base shoe. This is the Artifact, a collaboration with Takashi Murakami and Nike. These things are insane. I was talking about that red mirror swoosh. Well, this is a silver mirror swoosh. It's straight up a mirror. You can see yourself in the shoe. Crazy detailing all over. It's got that signature Takashi Murakami flower print all across the upper. Um, it's got the teal details on the back. Uh, on the Konex, the X is stitched in in teal. The uh, eyelids are all teal. So beautiful shoe, white Air Force One. You can't go wrong with it. Man, um, just insane quality as well. Uh, you know, Leading up to it, grabbing the NFT, I didn't really know what to expect as far as how they deliver such a you know, unique shoe, but this shoe does not disappoint. There's actually a rare version as well. I do have that, but I, I never plan on wearing that version. There's only like a hundred pairs of those and only three pairs of these. A lot of people see them, they might think it's a custom. Not a custom, this is an official Nike product collaborated with uh, Artifact and the legendary uh, Takashi Murakami. Uh, I had the opportunity earlier this year to go to Japan for one of Artifact's events. And they had Takashi Murakami there. It's, you know, a pretty small event, maybe 50, 100 people, whatever it is, uh, open bar. And, and we were just literally drinking there with uh, Takashi Murakami and, and chatting up with him. And so that was an awesome experience. And I'm glad I got to go out there for that. But yeah, these shoes right here, super legendary. And uh, what's crazy is not too many people even know they exist because of the fact they're NFTs. Uh, they kind of get overlooked or ignored or not even uh, you know, talked about really because of the fact they're NFTs, but you're missing out on one of the best shoes of the year, in my opinion, the best shoe of the year, the Takashi Murakami Clonex uh, Air Force Ones. These things are a masterpiece. And yeah, that's my top 10. Let me know if there's any shoes on here that uh, maybe you haven't seen before, or maybe a shoe that you'd take off the list if it was yours. Maybe a shoe you'd want to add to the list. Let me know. And until next time, peace guys. Happy New Year. And yeah. Till next time, see ya.